This may surprise you because we do a lot of character makeup around here. But my favorite type of makeup to do, if I'm wearing makeup at all, is like super, super, super natural makeup. So that's what we're gonna go over today. A very wearable, easy, like any day, not every day, because not every day has to be a makeup day, but in any day, super duper natural, no makeup makeup look. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Siri Ingle and today I'm gonna to show you my go-to like daily makeup if if I'm wearing any at all. I like it to be super, super natural, easy. I like that it's really natural. People wouldn't look at you and be like, oh, she's wearing makeup because when I have a day that I want people to be like, oh, she's wearing makeup, I want to be like, oh, she's wearing makeup. <laughs> but most days I do not feel like that. I just want it to be like me, only like, like I don't know, skin tone kind of evened out and especially since like I'll be on camera a lot, um, just something that makes you look a little bit less washed out. So let's just go ahead and get started and you can see how to achieve for yourself this no makeup makeup look. So first you're gonna wanna make sure that your skin is prepped, that you've done your daily morning skincare. If you wanna see what I do and what I've already done today, I have a whole video on this talking all about my morning skincare routine and things that you should make sure that you're doing to make sure that you care for your skin. I'll link to that. I'll also link in the description to my evening skincare routine, which is obviously different than the morning one. The only thing in addition to what I showed you if you watch the skincare routine videos. I also have tanner on, when you're gonna be like, you have tanner on? <laughs> you are the whitest person. Yes, I'm super, super, super pale. So this is with tanner. Um, I like to have sometimes, not all the times, but just uh, put some on because it, it, it kind of evens things out in a way before you even have makeup on and you can wash it off and it lasts for days. I love the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. It gives you just a little bit of color, especially if you're super pale like me. And especially with my, I have very like cool skin tone. When I put this on, it cancels some of that out because otherwise like if I get cold, I look almost like a zombie <laughs> or like I'm dead because it's so much like bluish. Hint to, to my skin. So it just works, it just works. So we're gonna go ahead now and just get right into things. The thing that everybody tells you is primer. We've got today the Pore Professional Pore Primer. I actually just recently got this. I know this has been around forever, but I'd been using a different primer and a lot of them just, they were running out and I don't remember if I got this for free or they had a good deal on it or what, but I really like it. We are gonna put this primer on our face um, just uh, to give us an even, 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 um, even base to work with. Not too much to look at here because it's just primer. It should be like on your face and pretty much invisible. Okay, my next thing I like to do is BB cream. You can tell that I use this a lot. <laughs> It's uh, Dr. Jart Black Label Detox BB Cream. It says Beauty Balm. Um, I love this stuff. It's my favorite. It somehow seems to magically adjust to people's skin tones. Um, and when I do have tanner on though, and to help it kind of give a little bit of an extra glow, it's It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Cream. So what I like to do is do a little squirt of this. This is the main thing that I'm using. And then this is in the tone light, which is, I believe there's one lighter shade called very light. And I am actually the very light shade. Uh, but what I do is I put just a little dot basically of this in here to kind of mix in with it. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a slightly dewier, um, it has that illuminating effect to it that the other one just doesn't have in it. And it makes it a little bit darker since I did put on that uh, Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. And even though the other one does a pretty good job of adjusting to different skin tones, I, I, just, I just like that a little bit a little bit extra of like the, the healthy natural glow to it. The Black Label Detox has 
a surprising amount of coverage for a CC cream. It doesn't it doesn't go on really heavy like like a foundation would. It is still more like just like kind of that feel of like a tinted moisturizer, but it actually does a really good job of evening things out. I kind of just put this everywhere. And the nice thing is that it's really good for your skin. That's the nice thing about a BB cream or a CC cream. They actually have uh, just as many like skincare benefits that they're supposed to give you. So there we have just our layer of CC slash BB cream. Even though I put the BB cream, CC cream all over, I like to go in in any areas with redness or you need to cover a blemish up with, this is the RCMA VK number 11 palette. This is, this stuff is kind of magical. I just ordered a new palette of this because as you can see, this is, ugh, and it looks, super, super natural. I, like, since I started using this like years ago, I cannot find a foundation that to me doesn't feel kind of cakey, like no matter what it is, because everything in comparison with this just looks fake to me. I'll go in just with my fingers, kind of warm it up on the fingers because it is wax, so it needs to be kind of warm um, in order for it to spread. And a little goes a long ways because this is, such a high concentration of pigment. Um, and that's the nice thing too, is anytime you have to use very little product, it looks more natural because you, you're you not having all this stuff caked on your face. So then any areas where I kind of want to do a little bit of a super natural highlight. When I say highlight, this is not like your like blinding neon highlight. <laughs> neon. I'm just taking some of this like really, really, really light color but not a lot of it. And then just putting it on areas that I would usually put a highlight and it's just, it makes it a little bit lighter. You can also put a little bit on the tops of your eyelids here, kind of just to even everything out a little more. I didn't put a lot of the CC cream up there, um, but this gives you like a super, super just like, even, even look. What we're gonna do next is, you can leave this out if you want, maybe just use some like of that wax base to do this, but I love a very, very bright under eye. So I have some of this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is one of my absolute favorite products like ever. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this. Some people really put a lot of this on and then I don't think that you really need that much because it's just so powerful. And we're gonna put it just in the darkest, darkest spots. Um, but kind of in like, I know everybody always talks about that V shape under your eye. You can use a beauty blender, especially if you have really long nails. If you don't have really long nails, you can just pat it in there with your finger. I sometimes, if I have a little extra, will put a little down here on the tip of the chin. Kind of brighten that up. Maybe brighten up anything in here. Now you want to seal that in as quickly as possible uh, with some brightening powder. I have this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and this stuff is magical. And we're gonna pat this on right on top of where we put any of that Bye Bye Under Eye. Alrighty, we are concealed, just like Elsa wanted to do. Now, it's time to look not so dead. Ha ha, this is my key to just looking super, super natural and not cakey and like this is just glowiness about you. Um, this is Benefits Benetint. This is Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. So you can put this on both your lips and your cheeks. And because it's a stain, it's a stain, it's not a cream. It looks so natural and this stuff goes with like any, everybody I've ever seen, like basically everybody's skin tone. Um, you just put some of that here and some of that here. And we're gonna just pat, 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 pat. Don't rub away everything you just worked on, but pat it, pat it into your skin. 
pat, pat. So you see I put some up there on like the hairline area. I'm gonna pull some of that up in here. It makes it look so much more um, natural because uh, the, the sun would kind of hit you up here on your head. And if you have the same tones up on other areas of your face as you do on your cheeks, it makes it, uh, it helps keep it from looking like very, very obvious blush. I think I've shown this a couple times in some other videos. I even put some like back kind of like under your ears and kind of rub it in a little bit. It just, something about it just pulls in all those tones throughout like your whole forehead, the cheeks, and even into the neck a little bit without being like, hey, hey. Another little secret trick to supernatural makeup is using whatever you use as blush in the crease of your eye. And you're like, what, we're putting pink up there? Yes, we are. And we're just gonna blend it in just with our fingers. We're not even using a brush. You've got one product that you're doing three things. You're doing your, your cheeks, you're doing your eyes, and we're even gonna use this on our lips as well. So, just gonna put on the lips. And you can go really, really light. And have just a tiniest little bit of a very natural, tint to the lips, or you can build it up and make it heavier and have it more of like a little bit more vibrant color, just to give them a little bit extra fullness, but still making it look really, really natural, is I have this Revlon Color Stay Longwear Lip Liner in the color Wine, and I put a little bit just on the Cupid's bow, and extend it just like overline, just on the cupid's bow. And then if there's any little areas, I feel like sometimes there's areas where it's like, it's like, it's like your lip, but it's like lighter. So you can just color it in just so, so slightly. Nothing harsh, just kind of coloring it in. Sometimes I would just leave the eyes just like this. Since we're obviously on camera today, I'm gonna go a little, little, little bit extra. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm gonna take some of this here, this middle color called Lyric, and pat it in, in the inner eye corner as well as on the top of the lid. Kind of blending it in a little bit to that, that tint we put in there. And then just a bit on the brow bone. Um, you can take some sort of fluffy crease brush if you want and maybe take a little bit one of these darker colors and just a little bit, just a little bit, don't want too much, pat it in over top of where you already put the tint color and then take a fluffy crease brush and kind of really, really blend that in there. Eyebrow time. What I like to do with brows, if they're not perfectly microbladed, which at the moment they're not. There's still some left, but it, they need redone. Um, I like to brush through them first with a little spoolie end. And any areas where you feel like it's a little light or needs some shaping, you just draw in there. In order to look your, keep your makeup looking as natural as possible, we are not going to do uh, crazy amounts of eyeliner. If you feel like you absolutely need some sort of eyeliner with your eyes, you don't feel comfortable without it, you should try tight lining and just taking um, your eyeliner and doing it like, it's like the waterline and keeping it really, really close to your lashes. Something that I like to do is <laughs> maybe just a little bit with this, this is, this is called Espresso. It's an eyeliner pencil from Ben Nye, but any brown um, eyeliner will do is just take a tiny little bit on the lower, just the lower outer third to half and we're just gonna like smudge it so lightly like we don't want it to look like there's anything there we just want it to look like there's a little bit of a shadow and light as possible nothing nothing harsh about this for your eyelashes I am NOT gonna put any mascara on one thing I do recommend doing, whether or not you're gonna wear a mascara, is curling your lashes. I've had a lash lift, I probably need another one, it's been a little while since I had one done. Um, but, um, what I do is I just take a clean little spoolie guy here, and I brush through them, 
There's nothing on this. It's just to kind of get them all going in the right direction. I mean, if you want to put mascara on, you can. I, and I do recommend, like, I love a good lash lift and tint. That's like my favorite no makeup hack ever. Whoa, and I just threw it. This is the Rapunzel blush that I reviewed a few days ago. I just feel like today, because we did do a little bit of contouring with brown in the, uh, on the eyes, I kind of want to pull a little bit of that, this pinky, very natural color and kind of put it on top of that brown a little bit to pull in some more of the flushed tones rather than brown. But you can kind of blend it with the brown if it starts getting a little too pink, but I, I like it. Just something about it super fresh and nice and alive. Alive! <laughs> Benefit High Beam I love this. Just put it on an area that you want to highlight. We're gonna put just a little bit up here on the cheekbones, pat it in. Just a little bit. The key is with all of this is just a little bit. If you put too much of anything on, it's really not gonna look natural. But I'm gonna put a little bit of this up here on the brow bone as well. Inner corners, just to lighten that up, catch a little light in there. Now, we don't want this to go sliding around all over the place. So we are definitely gonna need to seal this in with something. And we don't wanna seal it in with powder because with this is dewy and, and uh, powder free as we've kept our face. We don't want to go ahead and like ruin that now and just look super dried out. My skin can get kind of dry sometimes. So like in my case, especially, I don't want to do that. Um, today I have this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Um, this is a 12 hour makeup setting spray, but it's still pretty, pretty dewy. I try, whoa, I, I opened my mouth while I was doing that. I <laughs> got it in my mouth. Whoa, that was too close and now I'm like, like I'm all wet. All right, once this dries, cause I feel like I'm like a little wet looking now. <laughs> cause it's a very, thick mist will be all done and you have your super duper natural looking almost no makeup looking if you if you tone it down like and maybe even not do the eyes at all um or didn't do the lips or just do very slightly on the lips it could very easily be a no makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful for you. So I know this no makeup look involved a lot of products, but I'm curious to know if you had to do your makeup um, and could you only use one product, what would that one product be? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, if you enjoyed this and want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and ring the little bell if you want those videos to come right to you. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, lots of things with, with, with beauty, with fashion, with lifestyle, and all with a little bit of a magical twist. Which basically means we also have a lot of Disney stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And I'll say something like, Minkle Mopper. When I have a day when I want people to be like, <clears throat> oh goodness, I have something in my throat. I feel like every time I pull this out, I'm like, show me the beast, even though it says Sleeping Beauty. Anyway, I shouldn't, I shouldn't go into because, because I can't think of what I was going to say now. <laughs> uh, this it was a loud clunk. Wow. Wowzer dowser. <laughs> what am I saying? Never mind. It's not matter. It's not matter. <laughs> Just draw it in there. And I realized I might have grabbed the wrong one. I did grab the wrong one. This one's empty. I think that's all of them. It's an awful lot of makeup for a no makeup look. <laughs>